Good evening, everyone. Just doing a quick video. Kind of got the, uh, I don't know if you want to say stage three area is what they call it, closed off. So we have the big dirt mound there and let the grass grow up pretty tall this year before we opened it up. And as you can see, a lot of the uh, babies that we've put out and some of the does are out enjoying it. We got the uh, Bucks areas fixed where they had tried to dig out, so we got them back outside. Fern laying over there, and Monday over here, and Prince Charming, he's kind of ate down all his grass, so moved him over. Moved him over there to what the grow out section is, but I need to fix that ramp. I have a uh, doe and her kids inside. They're too small to really get out, so. It works out pretty good. Right here we have pots that put potatoes in. And let them grow up out of the pots. Kind of give shade over here. But let me see if I can climb up here. Get a not an obstructed view. Everybody's gonna run inside. Got a plant over there in the corner. I think it's a blackberry bush. Can't quite remember right there at this point, but that'd grow up hopefully and get some shade and go over top and get some blackberries. Got her doe Coco there. Some of her babies are last litter. She's rebred now, but they're big enough where they're eating on their own anyhow. But behind the rocks there is that culvert pipe that ran underground there. And I'll go around the air side and show you. If you haven't seen before get that other area blocked off over there i'm gonna try to reseed it with grass and let it grow up some and the french dog that i'm watching and, uh, puppy time out because he wants to disappear every two seconds one of our uh, red bucks He's out here normally running around, but since I got the dog in here, dog thinks it's a chew toy to chase the rabbits. So. There's the culvert pipe, so the entrance to the other side. Cut that open. I'll have to make some type of door or something so I can close it off when I want to let the grass grow back up. I opened all the bucket burrows up because they just seem to get like condensation just like a little bit of moisture in them so i figured it's a nice warm day to open them up let everything dry out cleaned everything out all the straw and stuff that nest that had been in there see a bunch of gray fur on the ground here a gray doe i don't know where she's running around she's hiding back there behind the box i thought she was pregnant and uh it seemed like she had like one kit but it was all tore up and I don't know what happened. I just came out today and found that. So it was in the bucket. Tried to use the buckets, but it didn't work. So I'm going to give her a week or so, make sure nothing else happens, and then I'll probably rebreed her. But, yeah, this crate in here, which eventually is going to be a, kind of like a breezeway into the inside where I can put food and hay and stuff. But little ones like to go underneath of it and hide. So it works out for now. I was initially going to do some potatoes over here and still I am but I'm going to try to let this area grow out with grass try to get tall to give them something to feed on when I shut the hill off over there and where the trees at that's what we're trying to do over there too is let it grow up but it's not doing very well I'm going to have to reseed it but that's kind of where we're at the bucks area still got to get the covers going inside finished off but Well, if you enjoy the video, like the page, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and we'll keep them coming. And we got some garden videos that are going to get posted, and tractor videos, and everything like that, also. So, there's a whole wide range of everything gets posted on the videos. So, all right, I appreciate you watching. As always, God bless. Have a good evening.